that was a shared session that I had, or a, sh a shared keynote that I had with uh, Dr. Carlos Mota. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, the focus was more on introducing people who are less familiar with uh, the world of biofabrication to some of the more advanced or common techniques even uh, that are used in the field, just so that uh, to kind of set the stage for uh, the rest of the speakers so that anybody who is new to the field can kind of quickly get up to speed. Uh, and also hopefully maybe inspire some people to, to continue to listen to some of the speakers or maybe stimulate some questions for not just us, not just at both Carlos and myself, but also some of the other presentations that happened. So hopefully we achieve that aim. What we tried to finish off in that presentation with was that uh, more of a synergistic approach within biofabrication is becoming increasingly prevalent in the field and, and maybe hopefully more the norm. Uh, where people who are traditionally siloed in one particular area of biofabrication uh, are realizing that there are benefits of combining different techniques together, seeking collaborations with experts with uh, experts who have expertise in other areas uh, in order to really advance the field and really try to bring biofabrication and tissue engineering to, to the next level. Uh, so specifically things like uh, FDM or melt electro writing or electrospinning in combination with, with uh, many of the hydrogel based technologies that are being uh, explored. So a lot of, a lot of stereolithography, um, a lot of the sort of 3d printing bio bioprinting combinations. Uh, if that's what we're, we're hoping to, to see more and more and what is in becoming increasingly more important. 